the flight was oversold. Yeah. So basically, is if you buy the cheapest cheapest, it would that would be the first one to take off. Well, we're not good enough to be on the plane apparently, so unlucky us. So, Liverpool, Prague, in the Europa League, it's time for another Europa trip, but weirdly, my trip begins here. Why, why, dear God, why, I hear you ask. So, uh, yes, I am flying to Prague, but my day began in Liverpool. Train from Roby to Deansgate, taxi to Hotel Football, where me and Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV are doing a talk for BBC Sport. Then, then it's on to Manchester Airport. Uh, then it's on to London Heathrow. And then it's on to Prague. Exciting. You know, someone will get injured and then it's on you to sort of mm -hmm. grab that chair, grab the gloves and, you know, he's, he's certainly doing that so far. Yeah, and, and, and himself as well, he's in the shop window because, you know, people think, oh, he's Stop big. selling him, Shay. Well, stop selling him. Uh, he's gone, man. He's just, just, <laughs> he's away. <laughs> no, but... Uh, the Mr. Shay's trying to sell Cueven Keller. No, 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 his... keep him, man. He's in my FBO team. <laughs> <laughs> he's no good if he's on the bench, man. No, no, he's playing. <laughs> 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 So yeah, that was amazing. Got to talk to a bunch of BBC football people and tell them about the Redmen experience with Robbie. Good fun. Um, did have the match of the day people um, mention the fact that we were a bit critical of their coverage of the Nottingham Forest dance ball thing. It's fine. It's fine. Um, anyway, I've come out of it to listen to me on a Europa trip because things are never simple. An email that says. Not only have I had my Lufthansa flights cancelled, that was my original plan. Which was a nightmare in of itself. No, my flight from Manchester to London has now been cancelled. So I have got six hours until my flight from Heathrow to Prague and I am in Manchester. Ah! Sorry, another round of applause. what happened here's what's happening i am at piccadilly in manchester i'm gonna get a train down to london euston right now as it stands my flight from london to prague still exists so it takes off in six hours i'm gonna get down to london get to heathrow and it should be fine should We have cleared the effective area and the line of trains that were in front of us has now cleared as well. So it does look like we've got a now clear run three to London. We did pick up another few minutes of later in there while we did lose the line of train in front. So we are now running around 27 to 7, 27 minutes late. We apologise for the inconvenience this does cause. Expected arrival time into London now is looking at 16.08 at 16.08 Estimated arrival time into London, 8 minutes past 4 is the current prediction If anything changes, I will let you know Can I do apologise for Right, ok, Houston So we need to get two tubes uh, One to Tottenham Court Road on the Northern Line And then one on the Elizabeth Line to Houston No To Heathrow Terminal Three. We've got three hours and 40 minutes till my flight leaves. That should be okay. Should. I'm taking nothing for granted at this stage. the northern line going next to the 
Elizabeth Line. I've never been on the Elizabeth Line before. It is recently opened here in London. A uh, little known fact, it was actually named after Miss Elizabeth. Elizabeth! <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage's manager. <laughs> we don't have an answer. We don't in the late 80s, early 90s, and wife. Elizabeth! Five. Technically, you know, two and a bit hours till my flight leaves. No, no, my flight's been delayed by an hour and a half. Okay, so there's zero information, zero people willing to give me information because Heathrow is an absolute mess because there's tons of flights been cancelled. I've been told to go through security. Now, the problem is, if I go through security, I'm through security, and then what happens? I just sit there, and if it's delayed, 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 and then cancelled. Uh, I'm stuck here in Heathrow basically for the night. There's no flight by the looks of it tomorrow morning from here. There are two flights that I can discern from this country to Prague um, that will get me there in time for the match. One is from Leeds Bradford, one is from East Midlands. <laughs> At this point, I guess it's kind of for a penny. I've tried to be clever, I've tried to stay ahead of the curve and it's gotten me nowhere. So um, do I just go with the flow? Well, yeah, I'm all in here. <sighs> Wish me luck. People in the future watching this video when this has already been resolved one way or the other. Okay, gate announcement. Um, I cannot express to you how bored I've been and how ecstatic and elated I am and how much I have to contain that because like a bell end walking around talking to his phone in an airport. You've been taking off and everything, but I can't just say to you, like, uh, you know, the reason let me take the other people off ridiculous. and let me do that, so. You're right. Why don't you say? You've changed the configuration of the aircraft and we can no longer seat you because that's what you've said to me. Yeah, so we're saying that to you because what the system does is it takes in consideration the fare. Yeah? So basically, is if you buy the cheapest tickets, it would that would be the first one to take off. I didn't buy the cheapest the, ticket. No, no. So, nope. Too good to be true. The flight was oversold, and they have chosen me, uh, this American family over here behind me, and this other woman. Uh, we're not good enough to be on the plane, apparently. So, unlucky us. That's basically the long and short of it. <laughs> okay, so there's one flight left out of this godforsaken country to Prague. It leaves Leeds Bradford Airport at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. It is now 10 p.m. the night before and I am in London. There is a train that leaves King's Cross at half past 11. That is an hour and a half away. Um, it gets into Leeds at 2 o'clock in the morning. It is the last and final possibility of me getting to see this football match. Fuck it, let's do it. and then hopefully get on the train. You know what almost the worst part of this debacle is? It's not the messing around, it's not the traipsing up and down the country. It's the fact that it's turned me into one of those bellends who walks up and down escalators and pushes past people and gets crossed when they're on the left-hand side in London. See what you've done to me? See what you've done to me, BA? You've made me into an escalator wanker. Jesus Christ.
Christ. <sighs> because it's half eleven at night uh, and everywhere's shut, it's made me. They've made me shop at Witchrose. Witchrose! Like a toy! <laughs> So I'm meant to be Coach D, but Coach D <laughs> does not exist. Holy Jesus, yes. Wow. Okay, 45 minutes less on that journey is literally the only thing that's remotely gone well or better than average or fine today. Um, I've booked the cheapest hotel money can buy. It's about a 20 minute taxi drive from Leeds station towards the airport and then it's about a six minute taxi therefore in the morning from there to the airport. I hope there's still someone on the desk to let me in and let me get a fraction of sleep because um, I've got to be at the airport at six and it's now quarter, 10 to two in the morning. I've got to get up in two and a bit hours. I asked about a taxi at the front desk. She didn't seem overly optimistic that, that was a thing. It's an hour walk from here to the airport. I'm going to ring a number and see if that works out and get some shots out. It's five o'clock in the morning. We're up! Showered, I'm up, I'm ready, not necessarily in that order. I pre booked an Uber because I was terrified of the warning chidings from the girl on the desk. He seems to be on his way. We are in the final hurdle, the final hurdle get to the airport, get on that plane, and just get to Prague. I, I mean, I've still got to worry about getting my ticket, picking my tickets up, and checking in the hotel and getting the match. Weirdly. Not my highest priority. Highest priority, get to Prague. This hotel is where Chesterfield and the sofas go to die. the closest I've got to getting on a plane to Prague. Dear God, please cross fingers and toes, people in the future. I'm on a plane. 
I was beginning to think they were me. Uh, I'm gonna play now I've got leg room. Just let it take off and let me not die now, that'd be great. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're sure you can't wait to enjoy your holiday, but for now, you must stay seated and buckled up. Okay, absolutely shit my pants then. Absolutely poo my pants. Um, the guy on oh, taking my passport was very like, yeah, now I want to see, what's your purpose for your visit? And I said football, and then he wanted to see where I was staying, and wanted to see evidence of my return flight. I, I mean, I'm in. I'm in a hotel in Prague. Yeah! There's my, there's me hangers. Yeah, there's me. Look at them bugs. Look at them bugs. There's me kettle. There's my crystal dome. Well, meine kleine Kinder, didn't you do well? You blinking did. The bed. Where? Sadly, not enough sleeping will happen, and not in the good way. Any view? And the big question, what is the bog like? I've got a bath. Is it one of them shelf ones? No, it's an actual toilet. That is a result. Now, I need to go and get my match ticket, and then I can almost relax. Not only am I in Prague, I have got a match ticket sorted. So yeah, I've got a few hours just to eat food probably and try not to fall asleep and then see Liverpool inevitably get beat by Sparta Prague. And that's what's getting match out. Serious. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a Liverpool TV. So that girl came out and was like, would you like a shot? I was like, no, no, it's all right. I've just seen myself on the television. She was like, what are you talking about? I was like, no, look, it's me. And then it cut to anyone on the screen but me, Kevin Hatcher, talking for about five minutes. I was like, no, seriously. She's like, well, where are you? And it cut back to a wide shot, but it wasn't quite wide enough. And it was just Becky Davies, like, I'm just off the side of the screen. Said, are you in the crowd? I was like, no, I'm on the show. Um, so then we had to wait for me to come on the show. And she went, oh, you look very serious. I was like, thanks, great. Now 
So, here we are, the EPET Arena, which sounds like something my northeastern auntie would say uh, if she was quite pleased about something. Um, really interesting. Um, it's only the second competitive game tonight that Liverpool have played against Sparta Prague. The last one, all the way back in 2011. I will give you huge kudos if without googling it you can tell me who the start and centre backs were for Liverpool that night I'm going to give you five seconds to put an answer in the comment section underneath five four three two one it was Soterios Kyriakos and Danny Wilson yeah yeah have a bit of that because it might stop me from getting stabbed uh, and also because it's nice just having a souvenir of the trip I did this in the Liverpool's first Champions League season um, I sadly didn't get one from anything from Toulouse this time around so it's not been a consistent thing this year but I've, I've thought on, I've remembered and I've got my Spartans card Liverpool actually drew nil-nil that night and then went back to Anfield and a dare kite of goals, the thing that separated them in the round of 32 tight and got us into the round of 16. Obviously the round of 32 is now dead, um, for better probably, not for worse. But it begs the question, would I be happy with a draw here just to get it back to Anfield? It's an interesting one. Right, okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to walk back to the hotel, freshen up, and then uh, I'm going to come back to the game and hopefully watch Liverpool not lose. That would be great. Okay, so I've had time for a shower and a sit down that was murder. Um, I've somehow managed to drag my corpse up and out. Um, let's get to the game.
It's the morning after. Feeling okay. Um, I'm just proud that I made it, honestly. Uh, I very much wanted to give up in London, um, but no, I didn't. Because I want to see every one of these games. I want to do a Europa trip for, ever, for as long as this competition runs. This is going to be the last European run of Jürgen Klopp, and I want to be here to document it. If you enjoyed the Europa trip vlogs, if you enjoy my misery and pain, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Nice one. Oh, God. My flight's over with the lead. <laughs>